Iran's foreign minister has said uh, he heard no new ideas as talks on Tehran's nuclear program stretched into Friday evening in Vienna. Mohammad Javad Zarif said he had received no remarkable proposals to take to Iran after meeting the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry for the third time in just 24 hours. Mr. Kerry had cancelled plans to leave for Paris to fit in the latest talks, the clock now ticking down to Monday, which is the deadline for a deal. Let's get some analysis from Washington. There for us is Matthew Kranig, a senior fellow at the Atlantic Council think tank, until recently an advisor on Iran in the Obama administration. Uh, Matthew Kranig, thank you very much indeed for your time. Uh, thank you for having me on. Do we know any details about what the latest sticking points are? Yes. Um, the, the major sticking point is uh, the enrichment capability. Uh, Iran has 19,000 centrifuges. The P5 plus one, the international uh, group of powers, has been requesting that Iran reduce that capability to about 3,000 centrifuges. Uh, and Iran is refusing to dismantle a single centrifuge, actually arguing that they want to increase that capability. So that's the major sticking point. Uh, but there are other sticking points as well. Uh, sanctions relief, uh, the timing of sanctions relief, and some other parts of, of Iran's nuclear program. So there are still many points of disagreement. It's really hard to imagine that we're going to get a deal by, by Monday. Relate to the fact that one side believes Iran may want to develop atomic weapons. Tehran says it doesn't. Do centrifuges, uh, is it critical to that in those two different interpretations? Yes. Uh, so uranium enrichment can be used to produce fuel for nuclear energy and also fuel for nuclear weapons. Uh, Iran insists that it's only interested in nuclear energy, um, but uh, the things that they're doing make really no sense uh, if they're just interested in energy program. Uh, they're really uh, not fooling anyone. It's pretty clear that they have a strong interest, at least, in maintaining this nuclear weapons capability, uh, if not uh, nuclear weapons. Uh, and so the key for the international community is to get Iran to scale back this program to provide us with reassurance that they can produce nuclear weapons on short order. You've already indicated you think it's going to be very difficult to reach a deal by the Monday deadline. How critical would that failure be? Well, they've already been at this for a year. About one year ago, we signed this uh, interim deal, the so-called Joint Plan of Action, uh, and that essentially locked Iran's nuclear program in place bought negotiators a year to negotiate a so-called comprehensive deal. Uh, and in that year, they've been unable to produce uh, a breakthrough. Uh, so looking ahead, it looks like the most likely outcome will be another extension, um, maybe until March or so, to buy the negotiators another four months. Uh, but really, at this point, it doesn't seem like the problem is inadequate time for negotiation. Uh, we've had a year. It seems like the problem is that Iran's unwilling to make the necessary concessions. Uh, so we'll see what happens in, in the coming months if we do get an, indeed get an extension. Um, but it, it seems like Iran is perfectly happy uh, with the status quo, um, having the nuclear capability, having the ongoing negotiations. Um, but so far, they're unwilling to make the necessary concessions. Matthew Kranig, thank you very much indeed for that analysis. We appreciate it. Thank you.